Let's take a look at how you can create a glow effect like I did in this example that was for the Mardini challenge. So let's take a look at how we can do that inside of Cops in Houdini. So this project file will be available on Patreon. If you want to grab it, you can do so on Patreon. And like I said, this was for an entry into a Mardini challenge. So it was working kind of quickly, but uh, this is the first time using cops and I thought it was pretty interesting and fun to work with. So I wanted to kind of cover how I went about creating this glow effect. So drop down a cop net inside of our stage context and then we can dive inside that. And then we can drop down a file node and that's going to give us this where we can load in our render. So I've got a render pulled up. Let's go ahead and create a new pane tab type, come down to viewers and then composite view. And you can see that we have our viewer there. So if I want to view a different node, same thing, we can just come and click on it and press R and we're going to be able to see our node update into our compositing view here. So if I take a look at this composite, I'm taking both of the inputs and plugging in our original file. And I'm just setting this to multiply. So what this does is just creates uh, or gives me kind of the highlights of our scene. So if I set it to like anything else, you can see you know what the difference is. But I wanted to just isolate the highlights here, or kind of the brighter parts where I want the glow to happen. So I'm going to take that. Uh, basically, you just want to you want to isolate the parts where you want your glow to happen, and then we can plug that into a blur just to kind of expand it a little bit, remove some of that detail, and then we can plug that into a gamma. And this gamma is going to just brighten that up just a little bit. So just crank up the gamma to a little bit higher, something that you like, and it'll be hard to to see kind of what you want till you get it to this this next stage here so i wanted the glow to center around the head so i just took a shape node and i used a circle here so if we take a look at our mask you can see where our where our circle shows up and then i'm using a blur just to blur out that shape a little bit and then i'm wiring that into our mask of this composite so if we take a look at our composite here, we have this operation set to add, and then we want to set our original into the background here. And then our foreground, we want to have that increased gamma on. So if I take a look at this, we can change around the foreground weight here, and that's going to control the amount of glow onto our object. So you can see we get this nice glow onto the head there, and then I take this a second time, wire the background in, and then this is just kind of like an overall glow to the image. If I crank this up, you can see that we get a overall glow. I just wanted this to be very, very slight, so add it to a uh, foreground weight of 0.1. Again, the operation is set to add, and this just gives you the ability to create a nice glow on your image. It's really nothing too complex, and uh, it works really, really well. I really like the, the real subtleness of this glow, but it, it looks really good in my opinion. So we can switch back from the original and then our added glow. So original and then our added glow. So that is just a really simple way that you can create a nice glow on your image. Just isolate out the parts that you want to have glow, put down a blur and then a gamma, and then we're going to just composite them back over each other and you can create a nice, nice effect. So hopefully this helped you out. COPS is definitely interesting to work with. I've never worked with it before until this challenge. I definitely recommend taking a look at it because it can be kind of powerful. But yeah, it was super fun to work with cops. Definitely something that I want to take a look at more and I will be looking at more in the future. Will it be my main compositing? I Probably not, but there's a lot of interesting things that I think you can do with it. So I want to like take a look at it more. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out and you found it interesting. Like I said, this was for a Mardini challenge. So this project file has a lot of stuff that I've kind of started to work through and then ended up just throwing to the wayside. So if you see some of that in the project file, that would be why. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. The project file is available on Patreon if you want to grab it there. And 
check out Mardini if you haven't. If you want to compete, definitely do so. It's a lot of fun to, to do that if the contest is still going on while you're watching this. If not, stick around for next year and uh, take a look at it. It'll be a lot of fun to just create some stuff throughout the month. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.